Welcome back. This is um, Drawing Your Hamster Part 3, the, uh, the shading of the body. We are going to pick up where we left off and continue just shading maybe, you know, around that little part that we had originally drawn but erased. But you can probably still see it if you have not erased all the way. You're just going to do that, blend it with your finger, you know. Gives him some definition. Sorry, I just had to adjust my clipboard there. And do this little grassy stroking motion all the way up to right where the side of his head is. And then we're going to take a finger and we're going to just smudge it over like that. Now that we've done that, maybe just add in a couple of lines back in to make sure it looks like fur and less like <laughs> blur. Now, we're gonna maybe take some little longer light strokes on parts of his stomach. You know, to show more definition, I'm gonna take actually some shading down here because I just want to make sure he's a very, very furry hamster that has a lot of definition. Then you're gonna take, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna take your finger over that, blend that, and blend every stroke you do, no matter how small or faint, you always blend. That way it gives the illusion that he's super defined and fluffy. Now that we've done the front part of his body, we're going to do his little front, front leg by the body. And you're just going to do that scribble motion once again. And you're actually going to cut it off over here because this is the start of his little foot. So with that circle, you're going to just trace it. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to draw partial little lines like this to indicate that that's his feet. You can add some shading if you want. between his toes and such. Now, it's kind of what it looks like. Now I'm going to move on to the other back leg that I drew earlier. Just, you know. Making sure I have all the definition I need. I'm gonna do that with this leg as well. just gonna blend some of the fur. Now I'm actually going to leave this little blank space. I'm just gonna draw a little line because I want to leave this like white because again I just want to ha have him have some maybe some spots of white instead of this dark shading color. You're gonna blend your finger with your finger and then you're going to um, Create some hair motions going upwards and maybe shade a little spot right here because it's like he's bending his little back towards whatever he is facing. And then you're just going to take that little furry part once again, the rest of his little booty all the way. And remember, after you do this, to blend with your finger. Always, always blend with your finger. You can always clean up some of the lines with your eraser if you're not happy with how it looks. I'm actually just gonna take some strokes up in here again. You know, giving him some definition. Now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna blend. Now I'm actually going to use my eraser and just clean up the little lines over here, you know, just gonna make it them a little bit shorter, you know. Once I've done that, I'm, um, add back in some definition if you need, you know, that's what I like doing. And then, 
I'm just going to pull up some little scratches up to here. And then I'm going to do his last little leg with that scribbling motion once again. Outline the foot. Draw three little lines, partial lines. Shade, 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 shade. It is important to shade always, always, always. And voila, you have your little tiny hamster. Ta-da!